What's up, beards and beard lovers? Ronnie with Magnanimous Beard Products. Today I'm gonna to switch gears a little bit. I make a lot more products than just beard products. I also make products for your skin and your hair. So today we're gonna to talk about natural deodorant. We're gonna talk about the difference between deodorant and antiperspirant, why there's such a demand and why you hear so much uh, conversation and discussion about natural deodorant good ingredients versus bad ingredients and then we're going to actually show you what our magnanimous deodorant looks like how i make it the ingredients and what it looks like going on let's get started okay so when we get into this discussion on natural deodorant first of all i want to differentiate between natural deodorant and antiperspirant okay Natural deodorant does not contain the ingredients that antiperspirants do, so there is a difference. Natural deodorant does not prevent you or stop you from sweating. Natural deodorant is just so that you don't get the odor, the stink, and some things like that. So number one, there's a difference between an antiperspirant and a natural deodorant. Why is there a big fuss about natural deodorant? All right, And the reason being, guys, if, for those of you that know me, for me, it's a health decision. All right, for y'all that know my story, you've seen my previous videos, you know I'm a three-time cancer survivor, and everything I do, I'm very picky about my products, my ingredients, and the things that I put on me and in me. So look at these pictures here. These are what big chain deodorants, the ingredients that they have in it. It contains things like talk. All right, I'm gonna discuss this in, in just a little bit. It contains BHT. It contains aluminum, that's the big one. It contains perfumes and dyes. So let's get in and, and discuss why those things are bad. All right, so many of the ingredients that I've just posted up here uh, are chemical lading. Uh, the first thing I always look for, number one, is aluminum. Now guys, the only way you stop sweating in your armpits is by these deodorants containing aluminum. There's little bitty microscopic shards of aluminum that you are actually shoving and shutting off the pores in your skin to prevent your body from releasing in the temperatures. So all they do is shove aluminum into your pores to close things off so that sweat cannot escape. All right, so aluminum's number one. So in all antiperspirants, you're going to see that ingredient aluminum. Aluminum is not good for your body. It puts excess stress on your kidneys. Um, I mean, you can have an argument. Some folks can say, well, there's nothing bad about aluminum. Well, have you ever had anybody prescribe aluminum to you to make you better? There's certainly a lot of negative consequences with aluminum going into your body. The second thing I always look for in, in the commercial antiperspirants and the things that are out there is you'll see the word perfume and fragrance, guys. When you see the word perfume and fragrance on something, that means it is a chemical creation. It's created and derived by uh, thousands of chemicals are used to create perfumes and fragrances. All right, these, these chemicals they use to make those things have chronic health benefits. All right, they're too numerous to even discuss. But anytime you see the word perfume or uh, fragrance, that's a red alert. All right, you need to start paying attention. Other things, guys, talc, T-A-L-C, talcum powder, baby powder. Y'all have probably heard in the various discussions how baby powder is you know, bad for you. You may not have understood why, but talc has, comes from the asbestos chain. It's a known carcinogen, all right? Again, guys, this is your body. You can do with it as you want. But So those are the ingredients. BHT is a, is a processed chemical that's in a lot of deodorants, or antiperspirants. So guys, those things, you have to make a decision. All right, so that's kind of the difference. Let's get into the discussion about why some of you may have had a bad experience with natural deodorant, and we'll get into and show you how our, our deodorant works. All right, as I travel around and I demonstrate, you know, we set up our store around the country, guys, I've talked to so many of you that have told me, yeah, I've tried natural deodorant, but it didn't work, all right? I want to stop right here. This is very important. You guys have to get this concept. Not just guys, you girls too. Girls are using my deodorant. All right. You have to understand that when you switch from a chemical lading and a perspirant or a, a big box, big chain uh, deodorant or antiperspirant to a natural deodorant, all right, there is a two to four week detox period. 
All right, your body has got to expunge and get all that garbage out of your pores that you've been cramming up in there for how many ever years you've been using that deodorant. All right, so what happens is, is when you switch to a natural deodorant, you're, you may have some odor for uh, a week or two. Or uh, my, for me personally, it was I, my second week when I was working out at the gym, I had two days my second week where I was like, okay, I, I, I know I have an odor, but it wasn't anything horrible. But guys, all that is is the detox period of your body expunging and getting rid of all those toxins that we've been cramming up in there. All right, so you have to make it through that two to four week period. That detox period is different for everyone. Some people go through it without any, odor's the number one issue, all right? But some folks go through it and don't have anything. Some folks experience, you know, a week long process. Some folks have a day or two. But guys, here's the bottom line. Once you get that out of your body, you don't have those issues with the natural deodorant anymore. I have never detected an odor with my deodorant in the last two years that I've used it, all right? So you've got to make through this detox period, but just because you have a little odor during that time period doesn't mean it's not working. It means that we're kind of getting things out. So you got to give it some time to work, all right? Okay, so now that I've kind of laid out some things, you know, the differences, I'm going to show you how I make our magnanimous natural deodorant. All right, guys, my ingredients in this is organic yellow beeswax. I use organic mango butter, organic shea butter. I combine five oils when I make it, all right? It's got kaolin clay, uh, zinc oxide. It's wonderful, all right? When I first, it doesn't stain, it will not tug, but this is what my deodorant looks like. It comes in a roll-on container, all right? You're going to roll up the bottom. You're going to see it's a beautiful, good consistency. All right, I'm going to just, rather than spare you guys the details, I won't put this on my armpit, but I'm just going to show you how it glides on my arm. All right, that's the consistency that you have in the deodorant. No tugging, no tugging, no, no pulling, no irritation. It goes on very, very smoothly. All right, now I put a light mahogany teakwood scent in this. Actually, uh, uh, that gives it a really nice, it's a manly, light, subtle woodsy that's not kind of overpowering so it doesn't conflict with your cologne or your beard oils or the things like that. Uh, very nice application, all natural, chemical free, 100% organic certified ingredients. Guys, I retail these for 10 bucks, all right? And uh, they're available online on our store and I'll put a link down in our bio uh, so you know some, you can learn some more about it, all right? All right, guys, so just to sum this up in the conclusion, I am a huge uh, opponent of antiperspirants only because of my health benefits. I know some of you young guys out there, you, you're Superman and you don't really start worrying about the things you put on you until later in life. But guys, this stuff is real. Uh, I don't think you'll find anything beneficial in an antiperspirant for your body. Uh, know the difference and know that and understand that if you do make a decision to go to natural deodorant, you have to make it through that detox period and that's two to four weeks and it's different from everybody. Now, always keep in mind, though, while you, once you've switched to a natural deodorant, if you go on vacation or go to the beach or something like that, and you leave your deodorant at home and you have to go buy that commercial, you start that detox period all over again. All right, so understand the detox period and then know that we offer a, a, a deodorant that works wonderfully well. It's great for sensitive skin, all natural, organic, chemical free. All right, y'all, uh, if you like what we're doing, y'all can subscribe to us. I try to do one video a week. If there's any comments or any uh, discussion topics that you guys have in regards to male grooming and the products that we offer, drop them down to me in the comments. I'll get a video together for you in the coming weeks to come. Uh, appreciate all you guys for coming in, tuning in. Uh, thanks for being magnanimous, and everybody stay Zeus approved.